In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my top bentos at Tokyo Station. So if you've ever been to Tokyo Station, you know there's a bunch of bento shops all around and it's just there's just so much to choose from that it's really daunting for someone going there for the first time. And the thing about the bentos in general, it's sometimes it's just hit and miss. Like in fact, I've had like some bad bentos myself. So in this video, I wanted to show you some of my favorite shops, some of my favorite bentos so that when you guys go there, you know which ones that you guys might like yourself. Oh, one more thing, if you guys want to see what I'm doing on a daily basis or what I'm doing like behind the scenes for these filmings then check out my Instagram account. All right, let's get started and let's go to Tokyo Station. Tokyo Station is one of the main transportation hubs connecting local and Shinkansen train lines. But what a lot of people don't realize is that Tokyo Station has some of the most incredible food shops and some of the bentos are a must pick up before getting on a long Shinkansen train ride. Trust me, you'll thank me later. So let me break it down. Basically there are four main bento shopping areas at Tokyo Station. Acute Kale Street, South Court Acute, Ekibenya Matsuri, and Gransta. Gransta is on the basement floor while the other three are on the first floor. You can easily access Gransta shopping area from the stairs right next to South Court Acute entrance. Alright, let's start with one of my favorite sushi joints, Takewaka, which is in Grandsta. So this place has all sorts of sushi. This time I got a kaisen bowl, but you can actually get like little packages, so if you're on the train you can't eat that much. It's really perfect. This is the one place that Michael and I always go to when we ride the Shinkansen. One, it's close to the entrance, so it's really easy to pick up. And two, it's just really fresh quality. In fact, when you look at the store, they're cutting the fish right in front of you so it's almost like you're at Tsukiji Market and this kaisen bowl here it has really like otoro tuna it has uni which is sea urchin and then there's ikura which is salmon roe also has some egg and it has some ginger and then it's all on top of rice and the reason I got this one today also is because it's the fanciest one that they have it's quite expensive so if you don't want to get the most expensive one then definitely the cheaper packages that they have is also pretty good so don't worry about getting the most expensive one. I just wanted to show you guys what you can get for this much oh and it's quite worth it look that looks so good it's got some plump sea urchin you guys know Oh, I love a sea urchin. All right, let's take a bite. Oh, it's so fresh. I love it. Mm. The salmon roll Ikura is nice and plumpy. It just pops in your mouth. It's like all the juices explode. Look at that. You can even add some rice. You got your wasabi, and you got this big piece of tuna. I love it. Wow. Like you can taste the oils from the fish is just pouring into my mouth. It's not just the, the red tuna where this is like otoro. Like you can taste all the fat and the, all the oils just melting in your mouth. I'm glad we got this one. Definitely if you're looking for some sushi, this is the place to go. Michael, you gotta taste this. Ah, I never get this fancy one when I'm traveling alone, so yeah. I think Toro is not as fat as I thought. It's fatter, but it's not that heavy. Can I eat uni? Yeah. It's got like a big as. Look at this! It's amazing. Yes. Yakimas. Mmm. Uni Leave some for me. I'll need the rest of it. You can eat the Toro. <laughs> you know, it's really hard to make a comment on sushi. It's just either fresh or not fresh. But this is fresh. This is really good. This is not a bento quality. I recommend. Number two, Noriben at Yamanobori. So this is called a Noriben. It's supposed to be like a cheap, affordable bento that you're supposed to be able to like just like pick up at anywhere. But this one that we got today is more on the premium side. So if you're looking for a higher quality nori ben, then this is the place to go. The ingredients itself, you can tell like it's not like the most expensive um, ingredients. That's why like nori bens are generally cheaper. But this place has the premium version. And that's why we're trying today. We have some salmon, chikwa tempura. It's like a fish cake that's been fried in like tempura. Um, we have some egg, spinach. Like I think this is a pickled daikon. This is... Mm, it's like a vermicelli, a little spicy. And then you have some like nori, and then it's like on a bed of rice. It's, like, it's quite heavy. So when I was talking to the store staff, she told me this store is their third store. They have one in Skiji and they have one in Ginza. I thought she said Obasan, which is grandma's, but it's actually Okasan. So a bunch of moms making this. So 
They can only make so many. These are like in limited quantity, like handmade bento. It's not like in a factory or anything. That's another reason why they're so premium. Got some rice, got some nori. Oh, I lost my salmon chunk. There you go, salmon chunk, ready to eat. Mmm, that's really well marinated. It almost has like a hint of vinegar in it, slightly salted. The fish is nice and moist. It has like a nice consistency like you would expect in a salmon, but definitely understand why this is a premium. Good job, moms. Oh, look at this. All right, so let's try the chikawa. Look at this big piece. Mmm. So the chikawa itself, it's more like what you would expect from a regular bento. Like To me, it's like nothing special. It, it's not just battered tempura, but it also has aonori, which is seaweed, like flakes inside of the tempura, which gives it a nice like seaweed flavor. So I generally wouldn't choose this kind of bento because I don't really like shio jake, which is salted shake. It's that one way that Japanese people eat shake, I mean salmon. I, it's super salty, I don't really like it. But maybe this fancy place might have done really nicely wow it's so soft it just breaks take it out it's like i can actually taste the umami of like salmon oil but it's not oily or it's not dry it's really good it definitely can taste the premium right it's an interesting marinade like vinegar no it's not vinegar it's, it's like something i've never had before shio koji toka kana ah nori double double layer になってる Premium. Nori mo oishi. Nan daro ne? Nan de kon nan jigao n daro? Number three, Daruma Bento at Ekiben Matsuri. So look, we got a Daruma Bento. He's so cute. So this Daruma Bento is a limited only bento that's offered in Guma in the Takasaki area. Apparently, like this bento shop that we went to in Tokyo Station sells bentos from all over Japan. And they were able to get this bento into that shop. So luckily, like you don't have to go all the way to Guma and get it. You can go to the Tokyo Station and get this one. It's a little bit hidden. Oh, I don't know if it's hidden, but this is where all the JR trains meet. What's nice is you can use this as a coin bank in the future oh it smells so good in fact it's like it's, this is one of michael's favorites i usually don't get this kind of stuff because it's so vegetable-y you can see so basically what it has it has some bamboo shoots pickled shiitake some spinach other mushrooms it has kuri it has konyaku which is like a, a vegetable gelatin <laughs> what is this it looks like a shrunken gumball <laughs> and it has chicken in here let's just take a bite of this shiitake mushroom mmm that's decent the rice itself it looks like it's um it's really sweet so the rice itself it looks like it's been cooked with soy sauce it's the yeah, takikomi yeah this takikomi gohan mm, it's actually pretty good i'll leave you all this stuff i'm just gonna taste the chicken because you don't like the chicken so much Mmm, that chicken almost tastes like um, if you've ever had roasted duck, like has that same kind of texture, same kind of like flavors, but it's, it's chicken. It's really good. I wish they would have had more. Like, I think this is perfect for people like Michael's eyes that don't eat so much. I don't want to say females because that would be sexist. <laughs> okay, so like Paolo said, this is actually my favorite. It does not look good, to be honest. It's so like grandma bento. <laughs> I was actually scared to try it at first, but like my co-workers told me this is really good. Just try it. But I tried it. It's just really good. Yeah, so Gumma doesn't have ocean. So like everything is from mountain. Mountain. So I'll start with this. Kikurage. Take mas. Umai. Kore no no yo. Kore. Kore honto instant deliciousness. It's so good. I love the rice. So sweet. I just feel a complete no no. Each ingredient has its unique texture, and everything is marinated in a different way, in the perfect way. That's why it looks ugly, but so good. Number four, Hambagu at Tsubame Grill. Tsubame Grill is a famous steak and hambagu restaurant chain that you can find in many department stores and shopping areas. And they have a deli shop just inside South Court Acute. Hambagu steak is actually served in a tin foil at the restaurant just as it is in this bento. Look at this tin foil madness. <laughs> I've never seen other bentos that come in tin foil. Wow, this smells so good. Wow, you can see all the sauces there. Look at that. That's amazing. These are the smallest chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think these ones came with it. It's small, right? Oh, look at this. 
It's a meat on meat. So they have steak on top of the hamburger. Like it came warm, but like the transfer from the train station to the house, it kind of got a little bit cold. Let me heat this up real quick and let me like enjoy it properly. You forgot to record. <laughs> so I ate a bunch of food already. Yeah, so we didn't press record, but it happens. So I guess we're just gonna start from here. You guys missed the piece of steak that was on top and my reaction, it was quite tender. The sauce itself has like a demi glaze sauce. All right, so let's take the first bite of this, which is not our first bite anymore. Oh. Mm, this hamburg is really good. It's still moist. You can get a lot of the like the juiciness in there It's not like fully cooked and hard you can see like the outside of it has been like almost blackened like but the inside is really soft and mushy you can see the onion bits that are still in here i'm digging this there's, there's even like slices of bacon inside of the meat that's amazing that's why it tasted so good like not your traditional bento but if you want some rice with this then definitely you can just ask them i think they'll charge extra for it but they do offer rice number five gyutan bento from rikyu I got some gyutan! Now this one comes not actually from like the bento market, but this one comes from a shop straight away. You can eat their beef tongue straight like from their shop. They serve it at the restaurant, but right in front of the restaurant, they have places where they sell the bentos. And if you're looking for gyutan, this is my recommendation. But what's nice about this place is they have several different sizes and they also had a gyutan, which is kind of like a thinner version of the, the gyutan and it had like the pulley string thing where it would steam up and like cook it and make it hot. But this one I'm like actually enjoy thicker pieces of gyutan so that's why I got this one. I have the six pieces of gyutan here. Um, it has some like pickled, like spinach, onion, carrots mix. And then it has like a miso, like a pickled miso sauce. And then it also has like another like gyutan. It's kind of interesting. That's okay. All right, so let's try this gyutan. Mmm. Mm. It's moist for being this thick. I mean, for being this thick, I mean, it's a little bit chewy, but that's to be expected. You can see the juices that are like still there. It's really, really moist and it's soft. There's like a nice bounce to it when you chew. It's just so flavorful. Like it's picked up it's like all of the um, the charcoal and all the, the, the barbecue. It's picked it up really nicely. Sometimes what people will do, they'll take this miso and they'll put it on the yuton itself and then they'll eat it just like that like as a as a combination with the rice it gives it another like texture and flavor i think this is like one of the best yuton bentos in tokyo station number six sandwiches from meru hen this sandwich came from like nicest sandwich shops in tokyo station basically they have all sorts of sandwiches they had this like katsu pork sandwich but they also had like dessert sandwiches like strawberry sandwich i think they had peach sandwiches they even had a blueberry sandwich like this is one of my recommended shops to go to because it's just like have everything but they have a pork sandwich and but these ones i think they're not like mass produced they're probably like well i don't know but they don't feel like they're the mass produced i mean look how thick that is that's that's crazy how thick that is i love how like in the japanese sandwiches they like cut out the crust for you and everything you can see inside they have the pork katsu the lettuce in here mayonnaise I believe that there's some like butter some something else but let's just take a bite into this bad boy That's crazily good. Nice, moist, tender crust on the outside of the pork katsu. It's still crunchy. This one also has a katsu sauce, kind of like a sweet barbecue sauce that they put, it's, but it's a Japanese type of barbecue sauce. But yeah, wow, that's good. Only downside to this is like after maybe like three bites, it's like almost gone, half of it. So the serving size is quite small. So if you are a big eater, you might want to get like the value pack or you might want to get like two of these sandwiches because it goes quickly. Number seven, kids train bento. Woohoo! At Ekiben Matsuri. Come on, man. <laughs> we had to get this, right? It's funny because when I was getting this bento, there was actually a kid in front and he was like just pointing out all the different ones he's had and the ones he's collecting. And like kids love this stuff. So, oh man, I had to just share with you guys because if you guys have any kids, then they're gonna love this. And I kind of love it too. Honestly, this is better than a Happy Meal, right? Look at this, you don't get a freaking train like this. And they had like this corner in the shop that's all like kid bentos, so they had all the different types of trains. They even had like some anime character bentos, which you know, kids just love. It's freaking amazing. Let's get this party started. Rolling, rolling. Oh, it smells so much like a kid bento. Like this, <laughs> this reminds me of elementary school lunch. 
You know what they would give you? In fact, it looks a lot better. Oh, maybe those short chopsticks I had earlier was for this. Maybe it was like the kid bento. That's what it was. I was like, why are these? <laughs> little did they know that an adult would be eating this. I mean, kids are going to love this. It has like a little mini hamburger, fried chicken, which is my favorite, a sh fried shrimp tempura, the two fried potatoes, pasta noodles with green peas, carrots, and corn. It's a Japanese flag. Kamaboko, it looks like a um, fish cake, fish cake flag. It's pretty dope. All right, let's just taste this real quick. It smells okay. Hmm, actually not bad. It's just like a kid's meal. No nothing, nothing to write home about. Chicken's quite dry, like really dry. I'm surprised though. You would think Japan makes some pretty good fried chicken in general. Why they would put dry fried chicken in this and not like just the regular fried chicken that's like generally good. It's almost like, like your cheap bento at the kombini. Like it's like the same quality. Kids would still like it. Anyways, if they don't eat the food, they can still play with the train. And number eight, Kaiseki Bento at Eisaki no Bento. This shop is in the South Court Acute. Apparently, this is three Michelin star chef Shintaro Esaki's shop, and all the bentos are handmade. So this is your Kaiseki Bento. So it has like little mini dishes, like perfect for, you know, someone that wants to just like try everything. It has pickled carrots, potato with chopped cucumbers, egg, it has a radish, raisin pumpkin. On top of this bed of rice, you have like a flaked salmon and you have beef. Again, I'm not really excited about this stuff, like this kaiseki bentos, because it's not my thing. It's like what like more Michael likes. Yeah, I'm not too excited about this one. I ate so much of the daruma bento. Okay, I'm so full, but I'll try this haksai pickles. Everything's pickles, huh? I feel like you must. That's the problem. <laughs> it's all pickled. Use your flavor. Mmm, nice. The rice is really good. Oh, it's juicy. The rice is really good. Oh, the, the fish is good too. Let's try egg. Because people say when you go to the sushi restaurant, eat the egg to decide if the chef is good or bad. It's <laughs> delicious. Is it because I'm full? I don't think it's. I don't like pumpkin. I don't like carrots. I don't like potatoes. I don't like the celery in the chicken. <laughs> Sorry, this is not my favorite. But I know girls out there love this kind of like little tiny dishes, you know. So surprisingly, like Michael and I, honestly don't like this. I don't like it so much because it's just a lot of pickled stuff. Michael, on the other hand, didn't like some of the flavors. But in general, this is their number one popular bento in that shop. I almost feel like there are people that would like this, just not me. I'm not saying that this place is bad or you shouldn't go to this place. If you have more of a refined, maybe even like a old person taste, then this is probably something that you would like. Like if you have more like elegant taste. So sadly enough, this is a top eight video, but it should have been a top 10. But the two bentos that I got were like the steamed version where you actually, I have it in front of me, so. Basically, the bento itself has a string and you pull it out and it cooks the ingredients inside. Um, unfortunately, the, the ones that we tried weren't very good. I've actually had other ones before with some like okay success. I was really hoping these two were going to be really good, but I just can't include them because they're not very good. It's just it's sad because I really wanted to show you guys like the, the like how delicious heated bentos are. I just have bad luck with them, I guess. So they're not gonna be included in this video. Anyways, if you like this video, help me out. Hit that like button if you guys wanna see what I'm doing throughout the week or you wanna see like what's happening when I'm filming these episodes or these videos, then watch my Instagram because that's where I'm like recording a lot of this like behind the scenes stuff. And if you wanna see just more of my guides or my like travel hacks for Japan, hit that subscribe button or the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.